Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're like me and many other guys, you've probably picked up one of these. The Radiomaster TX16S. A terrific radio, extremely powerful, combined to virtually any protocol with its internal module. So you got a lot of guys like myself who were originally Spectrum guys who are coming over and trying to transfer all their planes into this radio. I was pretty successful with that with my 20 or so planes. Then I came across a couple issues with a couple of my Spectrum bind and fly planes. I was getting uh, my Concendo and my E-Flight Valiant. I put my E-Flight Valiant in the air after I put it into this radio and immediately upon takeoff, I got a low RSSI warning. Before I could land, it turned into a critical RSSI warning. So, of course, this really concerned me. I've never had any range issues with the Spectrum receivers. They actually have really good range. So it, I was pretty perplexed, like, what's going on? Why all of a sudden am I having these, you know, huge range issues as soon as I take off? So I did a little research online, find out, found out a lot of other guys are having the same problem with the Spectrum telemetry receivers in particular, which is what both the Concendo and the Valiant of mine have in them. So I was suspecting this, but I wasn't sure. But what several guys were suggesting was that it wasn't a range issue at all, but rather just a communication issue between the Spectrum telemetry receiver and the OpenTX. So what I did was I took my Valiant back out to the field and I, first of all, did a range check, put it on low power mode. Everything seemed to be working fine. So I took a chance, put it up in the air and... and I had no range issues whatsoever. It flew just like it always does. No issues whatsoever. Had a great flight. Brought it back in. So what I've done is basically, if you come across that issue when you're putting your planes into your Radio Master or your Jumper or whatever, Open TX, you're putting in your, your FR Sky, um, simply just disable the telemetry alarms because those, even though you you have no range issue, is going to keep telling you you have a range issue. You're going to keep getting these alarming RSSI low indicators. So it's really easy what to do. Now, obviously, make sure that you check your range on your planes first. I've had no issues whatsoever. So just do do your due diligence. Make sure you you know you got a good signal first. But this is what solved the problem for me. Is just apparently it's not a range issue. It's just the communication issue between these the receiver and the open tx so so all you gotta do real easy is just open up your model screen this is my concendo here and you're gonna scroll down and i and right here you got the disable telemetry just click it you will no longer get the low rssi warnings and you're good to go now, I know that's a quick, easy tip, but sometimes figuring these little stupid things out can be really annoying. So I wanted to pass this on to you guys as I came across it. Thought I'd share what I found out. Make your life a little bit easier if you're transferring all your model files into one of these OpenTX radios, which is what I've done. I, at this point, I've completely gotten rid of my Spectrum radio because this is a great radio. Not user friendly. You definitely got to do a little bit of studying on this radio, but super powerful. Can bind to virtually anything. You can fly the uh, R9s. You can do some long range flying as well, which, so it's really great. So if that helps you, I hope it does. Um, you give me a like and a subscribe, share this video. I appreciate you guys watching these videos and I will see you on the next one. Bye.